Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting week of P Tom Theater. I'm Scott Butterworth here as always with Ryan Talgenick. Ryan Talgenick, you beat yes, me to it. I know. I, I was totally going to really say your exciting. name. Uh, well, anyways, we're here this <laughs> week to bring you our top five favorite Vita games of the launch lineup. Games that you guys yeah. should really consider picking up next week when the Vita drops on February 22nd, I think? Sounds about right. There's a lot to choose from, so yeah. we did all the heavy lifting for you. We spent this entire month playing Vita games. In fact, we have a huge Vita review guide coming in our April issue. 19 reviews total, yes, which 19. is the majority of the launch lineup. It was it was a very intense month, but a really fun month. We got to play a lot of games, and we've picked our five favorite, so narrowed it down for you guys. Jump right in. Right. Number one. A no-brainer choice, Uncharted Golden Abyss. How could we not include this? Kind of an obvious choice, but rest assured, this is an excellent Uncharted game. Really retains what's amazing about the franchise. You get all the humor. Nathan Drake feels like the Nathan Drake we know and love. The action really Mm -hmm. carries over very well. It even looks great. Uh, Maybe not quite PS3 quality, but damn close. Yeah, it looks amazing. Uh, And of course, there's some new Vita functionality that works extremely well. And you know, aside from having to balance on beams over fires yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, not so great. But aiming aiming with the gyros, with the sniper scope, really awesome. A lot of fun. Excellent implementation of the new Vita functionality. Yeah, for sure. Pick it up, guys. It's really great. Number, so number two, two. Wipeout 2048, which is what the... Chronologically, uh, it's the, the first Wipeout right. game. Yes. Um, but really, it just kind of epitomizes everything that's great about that series. I mean, it's, you know, lightning fast hover cars on amazing futuristic tracks with weapons. It's exactly what you want from yep, a Wipeout game. Uh, nothing to nothing not love? Is that Pretty much. how you would say that? I sure. Don't Lots of negatives in there, but I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't really do anything dramatically new for the Wipeout series, but it really is uh, like sort of the definitive Wipeout experience. If you're Even if you're new to the franchise, this is a great place to start. The tracks are a sure. ton of fun. The vehicles are super fast, and it looks amazing, even better than Wipeout HD. So yeah, definitely racing fans, pick that one up. It's going to be awesome. And then we go to number three, Blaz Blue. Blaz Blue! Continuum. Continuum Shift Extend. Longest title. It's long and awkward and weird like the game is, but <laughs> it's awesome. I think this is a direct port of the PSP game, but it actually is is a much better game overall. It's really been upgraded. The hand-drawn sprites really shine, really super crisp and nice on the Vita screen. It and looks about, amazing. And how about the fighting controls? The fighting controls actually hold up really well. I know that there might be some concern that, you know, it would be tougher to implement control schemes like that and have, you know, these lightning fast, in-the-moment controls on a handheld system, but it actually works really well. I didn't have any problems implementing uh, old uh, favorite combos and things like that. And, uh, I mean, even Marvel vs. Capcom, which is a really frantic game, holds up really well. And that's another game you guys should check out. It's really good. But I picked Blast Blue over that simply because I feel like it's kind of an underrated game that people would really love if they gave it a chance. Oh. It's it's actually more accessible than you might think, and it's really weird, and unlike any other fighting game I've played. So, guys, pick that one up. It's a ton of fun. And then coming to my one of my favorite games yes. on the Vita launch, Number four. Uh, Rayman Origins. Rayman Origins. Which is essentially just a direct port of the console version with uh, some new collectibles in the levels. Right, but uh, definitely not a bad thing. No, not at all. Uh, actually, the game looks just as good as the console version. It loses none of its charm at all. And uh, it's uh, it's almost even built more for the Vita than console just because the levels are you know, already designed in like 15 to 20 minute chunks. So it's like right. perfect for portable gaming. And it's $20 less. Yeah. Because it's lose, only 40 You lose the co-op, but uh, yeah. that wasn't, you know, it's great Not essential it, to the so. experience. It's still an amazing game. That's one I've been putting off playing. Like I have it and I yeah, haven't played it. Definitely I'm excited it to play it on a handle. That almost makes more sense to me to play it on Vita. Yeah, I agree. So I'm stoked. Stoked for that one, guys. Brings us to our last game, number five. Touch my Katamari. Touch it. Touch it real good. I am offended that you just made that joke. Yeah, but it's a great game. Uh, <laughs> and Katamari fans will be stoked to hear, I'm using stoked a lot, that this is this one actually adds some new mechanics that really change the experience in a mm-hmm. fun new way. Uh, you can use the touchpads to squish the Katamari into like a you know vertical disc or lay it out flat into like a rolling pin. So it allows you yeah. to maneuver in these new kind of puzzles or to cover more surface area and pick stuff up faster. It really keeps the series feeling fresh too. So. Yeah, I mean it's a simple change, but it mm-hmm. kind of fundamentally, fundamentally changes the way you play it. Uh, so it's it's a lot of fun. It's very fresh. Katamari fans will really enjoy the new mechanics, and it retains you know the amazing soundtrack and, and just the King bizarro of sense of humor. With his giant golden spandex, spandex suits. Who doesn't love a good spandex suit? So yeah, Katamari fans, pick that one up. It's awesome. And I think we have a couple runners up here at the very very last minute. Yes, yes. Uh, also amazing is FIFA Soccer. FIFA Soccer, unexpectedly one yes. of the strongest launch games not for the a, Vita. Not a huge fan of uh, sports games. We're not big games, sports gamers, but, but this one, this game actually really retains everything that was great about the console version. Uh, it looks amazing. Sports fans, pick that one up. It's an amazing port of an amazing game. And finally, Luminous, Luminous Electronic Symphony, which yes. is kind of like a kind of like a Tetris game. If you haven't played it before, 
Yeah. Luminous games are, are always excellent. Mm-hmm. It's a great series. Yeah, it's kind of like Tetris with music and blocks exploding. It's awesome. Pick that one up, too. going to be great. And after that our two little uh, cheaters there, I think yeah, that, that rounds should, out yeah, our top five Vita launch games. So, guys, uh, you know, let us know what you're most excited about, what you're most anticipating. Leave those in the comments. And, and then we will catch you next, next week, week when we talk about something completely different. Goodbye. Woo.